Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the sci-fi horror TV show. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it says horror. It's not scary at all, it's not. But anyways, Under the Dome is about an invisible force field that descends upon a small town in the northeastern part of the United States. This is going to be my review of the pilot episode. Just the pilot episode. And I know this is a late review. I just didn't get a chance to review it until now. But here it is. I just feel like giving my thoughts on the pilot episode overall. And going into Under the Dome. I know that's based on a Stephen King book. And I've read a few books from Stephen King. I'm not a reader or anything. I'm not big on reading. But back in high school, I've read a few, and I've got to admit, the guy, he's a pretty interesting author. I think he has a unique sense of writing style. Am I a huge fan of him? No, but I can honestly say that the guy is really creative. He's really good at what he does. And then I'm aware that he's actually the executive producer of this show, too. And so I was interested in seeing Under the Dome. I, I gotta say... The pilot episode for Under the Dome sucked. It was so disappointing. I know a lot of people really enjoyed the pilot episode. I know a lot of people as of right now are hooked on Under the Dome. And that's good for you. I respect your opinion. But a lot of things are so wrong. There are so many things wrong with this pilot episode. The positives I do have with the uh, episode is that there are a couple of things in the whole storyline that did keep me interested. I was like, huh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's actually pretty cool right there. So, you know, it has these little twists. I saw them coming, but I just had to admire how they set it up. Also, there are some very good acting here. There's some enjoyable characters. Like, there's this main redhead uh, character. And I thought she acted well here. And then there's some other good actors here as well. I am a huge Breaking Bad fan. I love Breaking Bad. Dean Norris, who plays Hank and Breaking Bad, is in this show. When I saw him first pop on the screen I'm like yes it's Hank and I was actually surprised he was in the show how did he do for me though I thought he was very good I mean I'm uh his character does have a little twist which I won't spoil but I thought he acted well I did get kind of bugged on what kind of twist they gave the character but is that all the positives <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's get to the negatives. There is very horrible acting in the show. While there are some good acting in the show, there is also some atrocious acting. Acting that, that just makes me want to grab my lamp right here and then smack it across my face. That's how bad the acting was. Oh my gosh. And it has and it has some of the worst acting I've seen on television. I'm sorry to say that, but I've gotta be honest there. Also, I do not normally complain about CGI, especially when it comes to movies. Like when I see CGI effects on movies, I don't really complain about them. I'm like, huh, that looks that looks pretty cool. And I like CGI. I, I like practical, but I also like CGI, so both don't really bug me. But Oh man, the way the show used the CGI. Oh, there was this plane that crashed out of nowhere and then the parts are just falling down. The CGI, the fire on that looked god awful. You ha I was so infuriated on how awful the effect looked. The only time I could compliment the visual effects being good in this pilot episode of the show was the whole alien force thing, you know, when they're under the dome. There was this scene where a cow by the dome was actually sliced in half. And of course you see the gore, but 
the gore was it was so noticeable that it was computerized gore. It was so pixelated. And I normally do not notice that in TV shows nor movies. But that gore was just, oh man. Like, it didn't even make me go, ooh. It just made me go, oh. Some of the uh, characters in this show, they are pretty stupid. Also, the thing that bugs me. All right. They are under the dome. The people, the citizens, they're actually acting pretty calm, pretty normal about the whole dome situation. In reality, you would have people panicking, you would have people committing suicides, you would see riots. The show showed none of that because you know why the people were calm about being under the dome. This is the people's reactions. The they're just like Eh, whatever. Yeah, sure, they'll show, they'll show a little bit of concern, but there's, like, no panicking, really. And really, people only panic when someone dies or gets killed. That's really it. Speaking of bad acting, ah, uh, I'm sorry. There was this female cop. She was one of the most atrocious things about it. And I hate being sounding harsh to actors because I know they work hard and I could admire that. And she might be new to the acting world, so I'll try not to be too harsh, but I'm sorry. My head was just shaking with frustration every time she was on screen. And this pilot episode also has very stupid moments. I don't want to spoil them. I was watching this pilot episode with my cousin, actually. My cousin and I, we would make fun of all the stupid moments going on in this pilot episode because it's awful, it's dumb, and it's just so plain laughable. That's how stupid. The final negative with the show is by far the ending. Oh my gosh. The ending was just infuriating. Really pissed me off. This whole pilot episode pissed me off. I was really excited to see this TV show. And what I got was a sloppy clunker fest of a pilot episode with bad storytelling, some bad characters, bad visual effects. Facts. We'll watch a few more episodes just to see how the show goes. I am giving the pilot episode of Under the Dome a 3 out of 10. Uh, wow. Just wow. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Comment below and give me your thoughts on the TV show. I can share this video. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have... TAGA POWER!